Ladies and gentlemen, there is a shortage of black men sperm at sperm banks. And, you know, they're given all these different ideas of why they believe it's a shortage. I don't know. I, I think it might be some black men are not comfortable with having a, a baby with an unknown woman and then you don't even know the child or know where the child is as they're growing up. Everybody is not going to be comfortable with that. So black men account for only 2% of sperm donations in America. So I'm going to go ahead and play this audio for you from the Washington Post. This news story was written by Amber Ferguson. America has a black sperm donor shortage. Black women are paying the price. Black men account for fewer than 2% of sperm donors at cryobanks. Their vials are gone in minutes. Newark, Delaware. Every night a little after 1 a.m., following her shift as a guard at a women's prison, Reese Brooks would open her laptop, a second laptop, then her phone and a tablet, and begin scouring websites for sperm banks, opening dozens of tabs. The websites offered hundreds of potential sperm donors, allowing Brooks to select for movie star looks, height and hobbies, but when she filtered for black or African-American donors, her options swiftly dwindled. The cryobanks gave Brooks a chance at motherhood, but they couldn't provide what she wanted, a black sperm donor who could give her a child who looked like her and shared her culture. I'd say I spent 40 hours a week looking for a donor. Altogether, I think I searched more than 800 hours, Brooks said. But when it came to a black donor, she said, the choices were slim to none. Cryobanks reported that the number of black women seeking their services to conceive rose sharply during the pandemic after increasing steadily over the years. Black women between the ages of 35 and 45 are far more likely to remain unmarried than women from other racial groups, according to the latest census data, with 44% of non-Hispanic black women unmarried, compared with 16% of white women. Yet black sperm donors represent just a fraction of available supply, fewer than 2% at the country's four largest sperm banks, according to an analysis by the Washington Post. The severe shortage is forcing black women who need donor sperm into a painful choice, choose a donor of another race and raise a biracial child, or try to buy sperm from unregulated apps and online groups. The reasons for the shortage are myriad, failure among cryobanks to recruit black donors, a selection process that demands a three-generation medical history, which may be challenging for black men who may not have access to quality health care. Now, let me just stop it right there. I don't see that as a reason. I mean, be honest, some of the men uh, that are subscribed to me, I just don't think sperm donation is a big thing among black men. I, I think even if they advertised it, I really don't see them getting a lot of men. And this is just my opinion. If you see it a different way, let me know in the comment section. I, I can tell you, I mean, I grew up around my uncles and my cousin, my brother, my father, and I never heard sperm donation being a big topic among the black men in my family. And I just don't think, even if it was advertised, I just don't think a lot of black men would gravitate towards that. If you think I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section. I'm going to go on and continue. And excludes donors with felony convictions mistrust of the medical profession by black men because of a legacy of historical discrimination. The search for donor sperm usually takes place on a cryobank website where someone can browse profiles of available donors with limited personal and genetic information. Baby pictures of donors may be available for an additional fee. On average, sperm is sold for $950 to $1,300 per vial. Donors receive $70 to $150 per donation. The cryobanks sell a fixed number of vials per donor to limit the number of children fathered by any one donor. There are more than 20 cryobanks in the country, four of which have more than 100 donors. Among the four, 
California Cryobank, Fairfax Cryobank, Seattle Sperm Bank, and Zytex, supply fluctuates, but as of October 11th, there were only 12 black donors out of a total of 748. White and Asian donors are disproportionately represented, while Hispanic donors are also underrepresented. Of 15 women who talked to the Post, only one was able to buy sperm and conceive a child with a black donor. The black women detailed fierce competition on cryobank websites for vials from black donors, which, they say, typically sell out within minutes. Angela Stepancic, a DC educator, recalled putting vials of sperm from a black donor into her online shopping cart only to get beaten out by a sorority sister she was on the phone with who was faster to check out. Okay, now I, I want to show y'all something. I want to show you the chart of the donors among white, Asian, Hispanic, and black men. Um, one second here. Ladies and gentlemen, so you can see, I'm just going to move this over here so you can see the whole chart. You can see the donors. So you have white, which white men lead in sperm donations, followed by Asians, Hispanics, other that could be uh, men of mixed race or, you know, I, I have no idea. It could also be Native American men. Um, and then you can see black men at the very bottom. Now, actually, no defense, but I can see white and Asian men giving the most donations because, you know, let's be real. They're the ones that are suffering the biggest with low birth rate. They are. So I can see it coming from those men the most, you know, but as far as the, the others, I, you know, I'm not shocked to see black men at the bottom. Like I said, I have never heard that topic spoken about in a big way among any of the men I was friends and even the ones I have in my family. So it's not shocking, but I wanted you to see this chart so that you can see a breakdown of um, men by race who gives the most at sperm banks in America. Which, uh, you know, to be honest, which I'm not surprised that this is the breakdown. I would have been shocked if I saw black men higher up on the chart. That would have been shocking to me. Okay, y'all, we're going to resume in listening to this audio. Stepancic had a mixed race child using sperm from a Latino donor. At California Cryobank, the waiting list for an in demand white donor is generally three months, according to Jamie Shimonki, the chief medical officer. The wait for a black donor there can stretch as long as 18 months. And women in their late 30s and 40s who are facing diminishing fertility due to age simply can't wait. You know that if you get what you need, that means another sister won't get what she needs if she wants a black donor, too. I'm crying, fasting, praying and believing for a donor, author Candace Bembo, 40, said. I know she's doing the same, but I need to buy as much as I can, pay my storage fee, and do what I need to do. You know that if you get what you need, that means another sister won't get what she needs if she wants a black donor, too. I'm crying, fasting, praying and believing for a donor. Black women are predispositioned to other fertility hurdles. They face higher risks in conceiving and carrying a child. They are more likely to suffer uterine fibroids and other conditions that can compromise fertility and three times more likely than white women to die of a pregnancy-related cause. And yet they are less likely to be referred to specialists than white women, said Michael Thomas, president-elect of the American Society for Reproductive Medicine. One of the biggest problems that we face as fertility doctors is not getting those patients in sooner. And we see the gynecologists sometimes dragging their feet in those referrals because they just assume that these patients are going to get pregnant on their own. All right. So, I mean, a lot of this is in my opinion, relationship issues. I, I think if 
there weren't so many issues with the relationship, you wouldn't really have the need to have black donors at all. But we know that's not realistic, but it, it, you know, it's just so many unmarried black women. And I guess they feel this is an option that they're willing to take to have a baby. I mean, that's really unfortunate, you know, well, I guess, you know, you're grown people, you can do what you want. Um, it, this is one of those things I never had to consider in my life, you know, but it, it's very different for many different women. I guess it really depends. But what do y'all think? Do you think black men should step up and give more sperm donations? I have my misgivings about that. You know, I, I don't know. I'm just not a hundred, not a hundred percent feeling that. But what do you think? You know, I, this subject matter has come up before and I've done videos about, you know, low sperm count and things like that. But never took into consideration about sperm donation, especially from black men. But y'all tell me what you think. Do you see this as a good thing? Or me, I see it as kind of problematic when it comes down to relationships between black men and women, you know? And I think about some of the other generations, even before us, it was people got together and, and they had babies all the time. You know, in fact, a couple of generations back, people had a lot of children. A lot of people um, would have a lot of grandchildren and stuff. And the talk of any of your family members going to get donations, man, I, I don't even remember that coming up once. Now, I was around people that adopted you know, I did experience some of the people when I lived in the hood. In fact, there was a woman that lived right next door to us. They had adopted a baby boy and he ended up dying. Um, I, I think around when he was one years old, there was an accident and he fell down the steps and he died. But I, I've seen some adoptions, but yeah, again, uh, sperm donations, even when I was growing up in the hood, I just never heard about anything like that. But y'all, please tell me in the comment section what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.